During his remarks in London, Erdogan was also quoted by Andalou, uh, Turkish state media, as saying, quote, Israel is a terrorist state, end quote. End quote. What Israel is doing is a genocide, end quote. Now he's talking about the 55 Palestinians. Oh, I mean, Hamas terrorists killed in Gaza. 2,700 injured. Well, I'll tell you what, don't allow, don't allow Hamas terrorists to stir you up. This is ridiculous. This is so ridiculous. I was speaking to somebody, a former uh, Israeli consul general uh, yesterday. And uh, he said to me, I said, what's going on over there? And he said, Hamas is stirring up unrest in Gaza. They've got 30, 40,000 people running around because they have Hamas terror cells trying to make incursions into Israel and other places. He said, wait a minute. This is a big diversion? He said, yep. It's what they do. It's their MO. Our intelligence has done that for years. And that's why the IDF, the Israeli Defense Force, is killing these guys in other places along the Strip. It needs to be done. Very simple. If Hamas terrorists stop trying to kill Israelis, if Hamas terrorists stop trying to get into Israel, presumably to go bomb things in Jerusalem during the celebrations, the IDF wouldn't be killing Hamas terrorists. Palestinians wouldn't be injured. Really, really very simple. Now, the only reason there's unrest is because guys like Bill Clinton and, and George W. Bush and Barack Obama, especially Barack Obama, well, they kept ceding ground to Hamas and Gaza. Hamas never should have been given Gaza. It's not the Palestinians who got Gaza. Let's make no mistake about this. It is Hamas. It is Hamas. Now, Hezbollah has been relatively quiet over there in Lebanon. But with an emboldened Iran, oh my God, if Hillary Clinton were, were president of the United States, if Hillary Clinton were president of the United States, Israel would be in serious jeopardy of an invasion, of, of mass casualty incident. But Hezbollah is relatively quiet. We don't know if they're going to be reactivated. They're right there. They're a puppet of Iran. Hamas and Iran are very close. It's really uh, by the grace of God, literally, maybe, that those two haven't decided to cooperate militarily yet. But I think it's because Hezbollah wants to uh, legitimize themselves a bit more in Lebanon. Kind of like when, you know, mob, the mob, wise guys, decide to go legit. And so they stop leaving bodies on the street to create that, that illusion of legitimacy for a little while. Don't worry. They'll go back to their old ways. But at least we have a stronger United States and a rock solid U.S.-Israel alliance to squash that very, very quickly. So Benjamin Netanyahu wasted no time responding to Erdogan. Erdogan uh, made that comment and Netanyahu took to Twitter this morning and he said, quote, Erdogan is among Hamas's biggest supporters and there is no doubt that he well understands terrorism and slaughter. I suggest that he not preach morality to us. Did not disagree with the word Benjamin Netanyahu says. I rarely do. He's a brilliant guy. Tough as nails. He really is uh, Donald Trump. They're very much the same guy. That's why this alliance terrifies the world. That's why this alliance terrifies the globalists. These are all very important stories, and I want to bring them to you every single day. So help me do that by subscribing to our premium service at www.therebel.media forward slash shows. Also, go to the App Store, download the Rebel app, and go to firescottisrael.com. Sign our petition. Let's get this horrible Broward County Sheriff removed from office. As always, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.